is kind of fun in the bed. I'm like into self help books and shit. Oh my god, that was absolutely magical. All I know is that I didn't want to do it, I was petrified, and I did it. <laughs> my love is so, so true. Oh, really? Yeah. I think do it. I think maybe it might be the little zhuzh up that you need. <laughs> Absolutely stunning glass. So thin. Good morning, everybody. I know what you're thinking. Probably a couple of things. One, why are you wearing that nighty in a manner? And two, where am I? Ugh, I didn't sleep very well, which is surprising because this hotel is outrageous. I came on a press trip with Clarins yesterday, and they have brought us to the most stunning British hotel I think I've ever stayed in. We're at Heckfield Place. Is it Heckfield Place or Heckfield House? I think it's Heckfield Place. Honestly, it's unbelievable. I will give you a room tour. Unfortunately, because I've lived in it for um, under 12 hours, it's been SP'd and there's shit everywhere to put it lightly but we honestly have had just the most incredible time and for those of you that have followed me for a while you will know how important Clarins as a brand is to me and how much I love it how much I've been using it forever how much my family have been using it forever and if you haven't been following me for a while thanks for being here please make sure you subscribe my nan and my mum's side of the family used to own a hair salon in Clifton in Bristol back in the day like in the 80s and my nan was one of the first UK stockists if not the f no I think she was the first UK stockist in the southwest to have Clarins in her salon and it's just been a completely ingrained part of our family forever for as long as I've been alive to be working with Clarins and treated by Clarins at the age of 32 is just a bit nuts really no part of this is paid or sponsored or anything like that but I just wanted to give a little background as to why I'm here. I also realised that my vlogs actually in 2024 have been a little bit chaotic uh, so I wanted to start this vlog here in this lovely calm serene environment because I actually feel like we haven't had much time to just sit and catch up and chat about everything that's going on in life I guess. Today is Thursday and we are Billy, morning. I'm going to head down to the gym swim shortly. Might see you there, might not. The pool is absolutely delicious to be fair and I would like to go for a swim, I think. So the plan today is, I think we have like some little brunch snack thing coming and I've got a vlog to edit, like a phone vlog, so I'm gonna do that now. Oh, sorry, I've got the itchiest legs in the world. Segue, but I had my third round of laser, was it last Thursday? And I cannot tell you how insane it is but i think that's what's made my my ex my my ex my eggs itch my eggs itch after one session of my treatment i would have been that would have been life-changing enough so now i've had three rounds of laser hair removal i don't even understand why i keep coming back like when amanda booked my appointment in i was like are you sure i need this and she was like yeah because it works in like your hair cycles but truthfully after one session of laser my hair growth has been minimalized so significantly i would be happy with that level of hair growth for the rest of my life i think i have done a full shave once in when did i start october i think insane so that is a partnership that i've been doing so i will leave um a link to the salon down below discount code to the salon that i go to which is incredible and also the, a link to the vlog where I first got it done so you can kind of see it be done a little bit but anyway yeah just wanted to tell you that because I've been itching my legs we have like a little breakfast delivery coming at 8.45 I think and then we could choose activities for the day and I have chosen cold water immersion I'm a bit scared you like get in a lake we're doing that at half past nine then we have like a little brunch and then this evening I am going to watch Jesus Christ Superstar in Cardiff Millennium Centre because 
one of my best friends, Emily, who you have met on here before. I call her Emily because I met her in drama school and she's from Sheffield. She's got an accent like that. And I always call, I've always called her Emily. Um, her husband, Luke, is on, he's in the show. Um, he's in the Jesus Christ Superstar tour, but he's on for Judas tonight. So one of the leads, if you know Jesus Christ Superstar the musical, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't know musicals or Jesus Christ Superstar, you'll be thinking, is she okay? Nah, probably not. This is kind of fun in the bed. Just quickly, I want to talk to you about the quality of my videos. And I get this is boring. Like, it, it might be boring chat, but I'll keep it really short. What do you think about the quality of my videos? Please let me know in the comments down below. Because I bought this camera last year. And parts of it I love. And the other, part, other parts of it I'm thinking, what on earth? I actually watched a vlog back yesterday or the day before from a year ago just for emotion reasons and I could see like lines across the thing I felt like it was blurry I'd be really interested to know and hear your feedback on what you think about the quality of like the sound and visual of my vlogs please leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm thinking about changing this camera and I just want to make sure that I'm not going insane yeah so cold water immersion in this lake it's obviously the benefits of cold water swimming are meant to be insane and so many people talk about it in fact db is a huge cold water swimming lover and i've literally watched him get into the water and see what it does to him but i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it but we're gonna give it a go i haven't spoken to you much on here i've spoken about it on instagram and tiktok but my word for this year is discipline and one thing I have been doing every single day as a non-negotiable is drinking a glass of water as soon as I wake up and that is to basically help realign and rechange my neuro pathways into creating a good habit and the kind of practice behind doing something small but regularly is that you then can build in other things to that and create new habits and new routines and that's what I'm trying to do. I feel like so many aspects of my life could be benefit could be benefited. Benefited? Benefited. Is that a word? Anyway, I feel like so many areas of my life, yeah, could be benefited by me applying more discipline. It's like going to the gym. You can't rely on motivation to get you to the gym because you're not always motivated, but you can rely on discipline to get you to the gym because discipline is what's telling you, you're gonna feel better for this, this is good for you, it's healthy for you, you need to move your body, you're deserving of moving your body, you should be grateful you can move your body. Like discipline falls under that, whereas motivation is a bit like, no, I don't feel motivated to go. So yeah, my word for the year is discipline and my glass of water every single morning has actually become a little bit of a I think about it in the mornings whereas when I first started I remember really having to tell myself that I need to drink a glass of water and now I wake up every morning and I think about that glass of water it's so silly as well because it feels so small and so simple it is definitely working and I know in my last vlog or the vlog before I spoke about Reverie, the app that I'm working with, that is all about neuroscience, neuropathways, creating new habits. And I'm learning so much about that brain health through working with this app. And the book that I'm reading at the moment, or one of the books I'm reading at the moment, is that makes me sound so much smarter than I am. And that's not basically, I, I'm been reading more this year. I read a non fiction and like a fiction. The non fiction is usually a self help book of some sorts, just because that's kind of what I'm. I'm like, in, I'm into that. I'm like into self-help books and shit. Um, so I'm reading the Nicole LaPerla How to Do the Work and she talks a lot about neuroscience in it and the glass of water theory and story came from that book. Yeah, between the book and working with Reverie and following all my neuroscience geeky little things on social media, it's doing what it needs to do. Talking of discipline, as much as I would love to go and swim into the um, most insane gym I've ever been to in my life. Bill and I did a workout yesterday and then did a couple of lengths in the pool. Discipline says that I need to get this piece of content edited so that I can upload it by lunchtime, it's eight o'clock. And this is what I mean, this is what I'm trying to change. Um, yeah, let's give you a little room tour. Of course, no matter what the hotel is, 
you will not catch me put my feet on the floor i also want to preface this tour by saying it is extortionately expensive to stay in this hotel if i wasn't brought here which i'm eternally grateful for there is no way i would be paying this money to stay in this hotel i wouldn't pay this money to stay in any hotel per night one simply because i don't have it <laughs> two because i'm not at a stage in my earnings where i could justify spending this money on a hotel room but some of you might be and if you've got that money and you're okay to part with that money for a hotel this is hands down the nicest hotel i've stayed in in the uk so just to make that very clear so this is the front door you walk in i have a lovely little dressing room in here which as you can see has been dressing roomed uh, the lighting was actually horrendous but I, luckily i brought my little light with me yesterday so i filmed a get ready with me and a little vlog of the day so i'll leave the link to my instagram and tiktok below because i'm really trying to up the content here you get like an ipad how mad is that so then you walk through here and i have like a lounging area which is just gorgeous again ignore the mess like there was a beautiful clarins display here with just a little note and these beautiful flowers then here we have the mini bar of actual dreams. There's some sparkling water and ciders there. Obviously, I don't drink. Oh my god, the snacks. They had salted almonds, ginger snap biscuits, which were absolutely outrageous. I think, is there one left? Yes, there's one left. And these cheese and walnut biscuits. Then they have all these homemade cordials, raspberry and mint black currant and rose geranium cordial all oh, that looks delicious and two ginger beer syrup so i had a ginger beer and sparkling water yesterday some satsumas then you've got like your tea and coffee stuff there um honestly i've never seen anything like it some more filter coffee and then the kettle you fill the kettle up with water this is the kettle you put it on there like that and that puts the kettle on. Like, can you even cope? It's so posh. I might make myself a coffee in a minute, actually, whilst I'm editing. So, yeah, that's the intense tour of the mini fridge. And then this is my bedroom. I really love this double-layered curtain thing. Like, you know, the sheer and then the heavier curtains in front of it. I like it a lot. A very comfortable bed. And then also you can pull that across at night and then the bathroom such a deep bath i do want a bath at some point before i leave i feel like i've just not got enough time here then we've got these embroidered um clarins towels as well so cute sp can you even cope bathroom which i've made a little bit of a mess of we had all these gorgeous clarins products put out for us i used the shower gel as well yesterday yep so so lucky i'm just i'm not i'm very messy beautiful big shower and now I've shown you the room tour, like, can we cope with the fact that I've bought a Looney Tunes nighty? I just love it. It's so comfortable. I've had it for a long time. Like, maybe seven years. I'm wearing a seven-year-old shitty Primark nighty, and that's what I'm wearing to, like, a 300-star hotel. And that's it. It's just, like, nothing I've ever seen before, to be honest. So... Let me get myself some more tissues because I keep blowing, I keep sneezing a lot today. I think I'm going to make myself a little coffee and sit in bed and do my edits. Ah, uh, thank you so much. No problem. So, you're doing the cold water washing for me? Yeah. Take this. Wow. <laughs> so, this is the dry robe, so that'll be what you put on as soon as you get out the water. Do I keep this? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Just been given this dry robe for my cold water immersion. Look at this. I also got given some breakfast. We've been given the morning moisturizer. So this is what we're here to celebrate this launch. Um, we had like a screening on it yesterday about how all of the all of the different products that are in it. And niacinamide is a new ingredient introduced to Clarins skincare range. Got an energizing juice, beetroot, apple, and ginger. What's in here? Oh, a delicious little croissant. She looks lovely, doesn't she? Fresh fruit and oh, yogurt and citrus granola. It's actually a bit hot in this coat. What is that? It's 
feels hot. Oh, it's some sort of like fruit tea. A little flask. I actually wanted to cancel the um, cold water swimming because, well, I just don't want to do it really. I'm absolutely petrified. But then I was going to go and do some lengths with Bills instead. And then I got delivered this dry rope and I was like, I'm going. Sometimes we have to do hard things and we learn the most about ourselves when we push through things that we don't want to do. So here I am. Just to give you another little insight into how beautiful this place is. Oh my God, this lighting. Look at that staircase. How unbelievable is that? Look at us in our matching rows. I can't believe I nearly bailed on this. Tasha, I thought you were coming. Yeah, I just nearly bailed. She got it. Okay, that was a little pep that we needed. And she texted Annie like, I'm not coming. This turned up at the door and I was like, I'm coming. I'm going. To be fair, it doesn't feel that cold. As you pull your robe on, we will go down towards the lake. So it's roughly 10 minutes walk. Mm. We'll explain the benefits and what we're going to do Morning. down Morning. at the lake. Pretty much will be physical warm up, breathing exercises, and then off we go into the water. <laughs> Maybe I'll go into the water. Whoa. Okay. I look like <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> it is beautiful. <laughs> but am I just gonna get in and drown then? It's not my first one. No, no, I can do that. I've not been here for the warm up. Uh, yeah, find yourself a space just to move your body. Oh. The reason behind it is as you go into the water, your muscles and tissues will thicken up, uh, the ligaments. Them so having them warmed up prior to that will thicken them. In terms of getting the whole body. Woo! At the same time, if you can keep flickering your fingers soft on your knees, bringing your hands out. Palm represents your ego, so you're going to crush your ego for now. Out through your mouth, palms out, close your hands. So let's do it together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that should bring your fire from the inside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it was a really kind of like special moment shared between everybody too. Yeah, I think I'm into this. Now I've got this beautiful big robe, I'm gonna have to like utilize that. There's just definitely something about when you come out the other end of doing something that you were scared to do, like putting your body through an uncomfortable, in an, putting your body in an uncomfortable scenario is just, and the feeling after it is unmatched. So it's half past 10. I'm going to have a shower. She said not to have the water too warm because you will really like feel it. So I'm gonna have a shower, um, get ready, finish off this vlog and then go down to brunch before we head home. I feel like, I just feel so, I feel so silly for feeling as invigorated as I do. And I text, um, I sent my video to DV and he's <laughs> crying because he was so fat. <laughs> Ah, oh, cute. I've just had a delicious shower using the Clarins Tonic Bath and Shower Concentrate, which smells just like fresh spa. Then I use the Moisture Rich Body Lotion all over my body. And now we're going to try the Day Cream Multi Active Jules SPF 15 Niacinamide and Sea Holly Extract. I did smell this yesterday and it was so nice. It smells like a rich Parisian lady who has woken up on a Saturday morning and decided to walk down to the local bakery or boulangerie, <laughs> boulangerie and get herself a pan au chocolat and read a book sat on a cafe outside. That's what it smells like. It feels very moisturising actually. Annoyingly, I didn't actually bring that much skincare because last time I did, there was so much skincare like on the press strip. But I don't, I think we've got like a goodie bag of the new bits and we've just got the moisturiser. So I've just really like cleansed my face in the shower and used a moisturiser. This jumper, by the way, is from Primark a couple of weeks ago, I think. Shelb says it looks like um a grandma jumper but i personally love it perhaps could have done with like a little cami underneath because you can see my purple bra but it is what it is i'm gonna just straighten out my hair a little bit as well i think because it's looking a little bit raggedy <laughs> 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 True. Look at my skin. Yeah, I was actually thinking how pale I know. <laughs> get me out. I mean, we need a holiday. Yeah, get me on a flight. Listen, everyone needs. <laughs> wow. Does everybody see that double standard? Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh, I look so real. It's a quesadilla. It's my dear. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Time, it? it is delicious, I smashed that already. Jalapeno salsa. <laughs> it's got um, a little spicy spicy there. Listen, Bills and I are waiting for an email today, aren't we? I'm worried um, we're gonna put the No, that's manifested. Okay. Okay. We're waiting for an email today. We're bringing good news positive because the sun is shining. We've been brave girls this morning. I went to the gym, Sasha did open water swimming. And it was, how cold was it, six degrees? Yeah. What's going on, lady? <laughs> I jumped myself. <laughs> I want to show everyone the new shelves. Look at this. New um, install. How beautiful. Beautiful. She likes it. <laughs> I'm home, mama. I swear to Get was just boiled. Cap's ready. God, the amount of stuff that I've bought with back. Look at, look at, come and look at the flowers though. Oh, yeah. oh I said I was going to be good today. Oh well, it's always tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're such good sweet. Yeah, and loads of, that's an actual new plant as well. <gasps> Amazing. Yeah, and remember my, my last plant was from the Clarins mm. thing. Mm. Oh, look at my new addition in my room. Shelves put my, um, my light up. 
which looks beautiful. I'm just gonna do a really quick little bit of makeup to go to <coughs> the theatre. Oh, my skin does look very fresh, doesn't it? Normally I feel so disorientated when I've been away from the house um, and like a bit stressed when I'm going again, but I feel really just all right, to be honest. Um, tomorrow I've got a big admin kind of day. I've got editing to do and next week I am giving a talk at Bristol University on the realities of social media. I'm absolutely shitting myself to be honest. I've got a lot of prep to do for that and it's something that I have wanted to do since the start of Filter Drop. So it's a big, it's a big deal for me, a big sort of moment, opportunity and I feel like I want to be prepped for it, you know? I was also thinking one other thing that I think is going to really help me going forward is I'm going to start prepping or I'm going to prep some bags, like an equipment bag, a skincare bag, a travel essentials bag, so that whenever I'm packing to go on these little trips, rather than repacking and packing every time, I've just got them to hand. Hi, babe. Smelly girl. Um, sorry, I was just ringing to see like your timings. I'm just quickly putting a bit of makeup on, and yeah. then I was thinking I'll get in the car and just get up there. I still yeah. need to just do the voiceover for my vlog, but I can do that in like I can do that in the car. But yeah, well, I'm just walking back to the car now, which is going to take me about ten minutes. Yeah. And then I'll be leaving Swansea. I just used this. I haven't used it for so long. The um, tinted Oleo serum in shade two. Oh my god totally forgot how much i loved it that is so nice shell have you used that clarence um tinted serum lately i've got a darker color here you can have it yeah yeah i literally just put because i'm actually using my lighter color at the moment because i'm so unkissed by the sun. Also, come and look how nice this looks in my shop, my little bit of light popping through on the screen. Oh, lovely. Isn't that so nice? Yay. Yeah, in that top drawer there. Oh, sweet. There should be a shade three. Yeah, honestly, it's... It's I amazing, isn't it? I actually had a woman when she came into the showroom and she was like, oh my God, your skin's absolutely amazing. What have you got on? I was like, oh, I've got the by Terry, um, you know, the that. C uh, CC, CC serum. serum and I was like then and I've got the Clarins um foundation she was like oh my god I've got to go and get what you've got on your face you look incredible oh I've not used that combination before oh yeah so I was what was I doing I was putting it directly on underneath the by Terry and then I'd put it on top and then sometimes I'd mix the two I'm just so crazy. Gosh, how far we've come from Eastern Street when you were using, I mean, I'm sure you still are using that same... Um, Highlighter? Yeah. Still got it, still got it. Max still. Soft and Gentle. <laughs> no, but your makeup's it's moving and grooving, isn't it? It is moving and grooving. Yeah, although, do you know what? Half past seven this morning, it was light. Oh, really? Yeah. We, we've started getting really excited about how um, earlier the sun is coming up. Oh yeah, forget. I was like, who's we? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Your friends. Your friends and Sorry, fans. Sorry, my fans, my fans. That's it almost feels like, like you've not been away, you know, now you're back here. I know, you're sick of me already, aren't you? No. <laughs> I was excited for you to come back today, by the way. Were you? That's I was like, so... oh, well said. We're going to be apart for a night and there's me like, when are you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It, it does feel really bizarre though. Like, it feels like you we've never been apart now. Mm, I know. But then when you were over there, I kind of didn't really know if I was going to see you again. Yeah, I think everyone thought I wasn't going to come back. <laughs> well, you, at one point we didn't think you were, did we? Uh, yeah, no, it would always come back. It was just it might have like gone on for longer. It could have gone on for longer if I wanted long worked. Oh God, words shall we? Wanted to work longer. Yeah, but you're about to get some big juicy things over here now, aren't you? Exactly. Big. Old Shelby see. George has had a nice little email today as well. Yeah. So we're on the app. We are on the app. We feel a different energy this year, don't we? Sisters are ready to slay. 
What should I wear to the theatre? I really want to be cash. What are you looking for now? Just a sharpener. Yeah. Pair of um. Do you know nice trousers and a nice jumper? And and that's with your leather jacket. That's what I need to to sort out in my wardrobe. I need to get some more trousers. Trousers. Mm -hmm. Really nice cash. I can't get over how beautiful that's made my skin look. The Duda. The Clarins, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, do you know what I'm big into as well? Another new makeup um, oh. find since you've been away. This brown YSL mascara. Oh, is it nice? If you see this at the airport <coughs> and yeah. it's like discounted, get it, yeah, in brown. It's so nice. So Shelves and I have started watching Top Boy and we are absolutely obsessed, aren't we? Obsessy. Obsessy. We are obsessed. We can't stop talking about it. What do you think of the brown mascara? Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it nice? Mm, nice. I did my in-body thing at the gym today. Have you heard about that? When you stand on this machine and it like uh, takes all your like your weight, your protein, your like muscle mass. And the very bad said to me, "You are normal. You are very normal. Good result." Um. So yeah, he was basically like, "What do you want to change?" And I was like, "I don't. I don't think I want to increase my muscle mass because I've already got." you're a strong girl so I'm a strong big girl already and he didn't also bark didn't believe me he was like no i think so you're not eating enough and i was like <laughs> but let me tell you but <laughs> i'll tell but i'm eating enough and he was like are you eating uh, above 1500 calories a day i was like beyond sometimes but i was like i've got a very big appetite he was like i don't believe you where's bart from for the reference because uh, we can say your accent he's polish Polish. You sound exactly like him when you do your impression of him. Chubbs has made a best mate. Now make a jiggy. Chubbs has made a best mate at the gym. He's just got such a great sense of humour. Yeah. Do you know what? You're, um, you've always been really, I don't know how to word this, attracted to like, old men. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hey, Boris, not that old. But not in a but sexual then, way. Like, your, yeah. your sexual preference isn't an old man. No. But you just always really get on with, like, an old man. Yeah. You always, always have. I like, yeah, it's their sense of humour. I find, and I find that, I don't know, we just always gel. You are a bit like an old man, I, I suppose. Old, I am an old man. At heart. Just like Bart. Old, at heart, I'm a big old fart. Just like Bart. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do today. Beautiful. Stunning. What should I do with my hair? You know I'm the wrong person to ask for this. I'm quite liking it down right now. But... No, I'm having it cut tomorrow. I mean, like... Oh, actually what you want. I really want to lob it off. I think lob it off. I just don't feel great in my body at the moment. What did someone say to me the other day? Something about, you know, you have those days when like, I don't like myself. It's like, you know, you don't like yourself at the moment. You still, you still look exactly the same. So whether you get... Lob like it off now or lob it off when you, you're feeling a little bit better of yourself. doesn't make a difference. So it'd be if like If you were that. going really, really short, I'd be like, okay, yeah, you need to feel a bit more confident in yourself. Oh, no, I'd go like that. that. Yeah. I think do it. I think maybe it might be the little zhuzh up that you need. I'll make this all shorter. Mm. So either that short or we keep it really long. Do a blunt cut. And then shape it all around my face. I think you've been wanting to lob it off for a while. But you're scared. I know you're scared. Just think about me when I dyed it dark. I was scared. Yeah, and it looked insane. I'm having it done at 8 o'clock in the morning though. You are more than beautiful. Remember that, everyone. Right. Ready or not, here I come. I'm gonna find you. Where do I want to park? Millennium Centre, I guess. Oh, I'm a bit excited. I love nothing more than a theatre trip in the week. I've done my video and I've done my voiceover. So that video will be up on Instagram and TikTok if you want to go and watch that little day in the life. Look how beautiful the sky is. arrived oh my god the traffic was not ideal today it took me like an hour and a half to get here but it was like normally it takes me an hour to get to cardiff so i'm 
unsure what's happened there but we've arrived and i'm gonna go meet db now we're gonna get something to eat put that ticket there hairband phone i've got this little bag today the one that i wore for disney because i love it the only thing i can't find anywhere is some lip balm there should be some on the floor but i really need some you want to know where we've come for dinner popeyes Got. Are these my spicy ones? Oh, you got mild. Yeah. So you're not a spicy boy. Yeah. I got spicy tenders, garlic mayo, buffalo sauce, Cajun fries, Cajun gravy. Taste test. Mmm, that's nice, isn't it? Can I try a bit of your spicy one? Why not? It's fresh, isn't it? Really good, isn't it? Mmm, that's nice actually. Yeah. I'm a Dr. Peppies. Did you get me zero? Left my camera in the car because I'm scared I get confiscated. Can I turn you off and kick you out? I know. I'd love to film a little bit of him singing. They definitely wouldn't let you do that. No, I would get thrown out and that's not Especially if that same lady's there that was at Aladdin and she was on me. Yeah, she was. <laughs> and then let's find him. There he is. Woo! Woo! Go on, Luke. Let's do a review. I thought it sounded and looked incredible. <laughs> Luke was insane, wasn't he? Luke was just the best. He was so good. The funniest thing happened. <coughs> the, the guy sat next to Dave, no, the woman sat next to Dave was explaining it to her partner. And he said, oh, thanks for that, because I was a bit confused as well. I said, I ain't got a f***ing clue what's going on. And then the woman in front of us turned around and she went, oh, we don't know what's happening either. <laughs> so then she started explaining it to her, her and the lady goes, which one's Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the girl next to them joined in the conversation. So there was like, what, six of us all trying to work out what this show was actually about? Didn't have a f***ing clue. I mean, sounded they... great though. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know what was going on, but it sounded great. Some good songs. Yeah, Gethsemane, he absolutely smashed it. It was insane. The set looked incredible. I don't know how to love that's beautiful. Well done. <laughs> Go on, keep going. She was so good. Yeah, we she just was. had a little drink with Luke, didn't we, after? Yep. Also, I'm very much that person. This is the second show I've seen Luke in. I think I said earlier I watched him in Bat Out of Hell, but I do like to let everyone know that my friend's oh, in the didn't show. You just, yeah. I said, I said, no, my friend Luke's actually playing. My friend Luke, my friend Luke, my friend Luke, he's in the audience. <laughs> you give me a well, Luke. Hello, Luke. <laughs> Here's a wave, Luke. What is that noise? That's my keys telling me where they are. <laughs> Do you reckon Andrew Lloyd Webber was high when he wrote it? I, the, that was my thoughts throughout the entire thing. Was it? He was clearly high as balls. Do you reckon Andrew Lloyd Webber was into that? Are you? Have you seen cats? <laughs> <laughs> I hate cats. And uh, Twilight Express or whatever it's f***ing called. <laughs> of course he was high. I don't think the man's ever been sober. Oh no, don't be mean. I'm not being mean. Ah, uh, just Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals aren't my favourite apart from Oliver. Phantom I'm alright with, but even then, like about halfway through and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty done. Do I have to do that scan again, do I? Uh... Yeah. It took me so long to get home because they closed part of the road by Cardiff and Newport and then part of the road off the, like, the normal junction I take to come off the motorway which added another half an hour onto my journey, so I think it took me like an hour and 45 to get home. <sighs> and then I have to have a shower, because I just can't. If I've been like out and about, I need to like wash off the day juice, you know? And it's like past one o'clock in the morning. I don't want to turn my phone over to look at what time it is, but it's late. And I need to go to sleep. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I've seen a comment flash up on YouTube saying, we're still waiting to hear about Rita Ora's story. It's coming. Next vlog, 100%. I promise it's coming. Is it though? Because Sharps is away. Now I feel like we've built it up and it's like not that funny, but I promise we'll, we'll serve it to you. Promise. I hope you've enjoyed. Love you always. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Love you.